but it says spirit of the living God fall fresh on me and then it says God I'm not going to fight it break me and after you've broken me turn up the heat and melt me and then turn up the heat a little bit more and mold me and when you get through doing that then fill me because I want you to use me if you want to get close to God you got to bring your brokenness I want to ask you that question today do you have anything that's broken hmm do you have any promises that are broken? Do you have a heart that is broken? Do you have what seems to be unanswered prayers? Do you have mountains that seem insurmountable? Do you have rivers that seem uncrossable? You are why God sins. A word. The design of the gospel is to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. Jesus says, I want somebody who is broken. The response was, I heard the voice of Jesus saying, what is Jesus saying? Come unto me and rest. Why do you want me to come, Jesus? Lie down, thou weary one. Lie down your head upon my breast. I wonder if anybody here has anything that is broken. Do you have a car that is broken? Do you have a refrigerator that is broken? Do you have a dishwasher that is broken? Do you have a furnace that is broken? Mm. Do you have relationships that are broken? It's difficult to admit, but even family members sometimes can't even speak to each other. Mothers don't get along with daughters. Fathers don't get along with sons. Brothers and sisters that are estranged. Jesus said, you're the one I'm coming for. I want somebody who is broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, broken. Oh, Lord. Nobody else wants a broken man but Jesus. Nobody else wants a broken woman but Jesus. Jesus went up to a broken woman. Her body was bent over double. She couldn't even lift her head. Jesus went to her and said, Woman, thou art loosed from the spirit of infirmity. For the first time in her life, she stood up straight, lifted up her eyes. Jesus found a man born blind, put clay in his eyes, told him to go wash it. Jesus loves broken people, broken families, broken children, broken hearts. I heard the voice of Jesus saying, come unto me. I know you're broken. You're dressed up, but you're still broken. Got money in the bank, but still broken. Got a fine home, still broken. Got nice clothes, still broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, I want you to know today, you don't have to be ashamed of being broken. You don't have to be ashamed of being hurt, of being lonely, of being talked about, of being abused, because he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised.
souls our iniquities the chastisement of our peace is upon him and with his stripes I'm healed when I came to Jesus I was broken because Jesus doesn't accept perfect people I need to take my time and talk to you Hold the music right quick. I said, Jesus does not accept perfect people. Mm-hmm. Let me say it again. I said, Jesus does not accept perfect people. How you know, Bishop? Because a perfect man came to Jesus one day. The Bible says he ran to Jesus, fell down at his feet, and said, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus told him what you got to do. You know the commandments. The man looked back at Jesus and said, I've kept them all my life. I've not broken a commandment. I'm perfect. Jesus said, I... I can't accept you. Look at Judas over there saying, man, I'm ready for that check. We're getting ready to have a new disciple. I'm getting ready to balance the budget because there's a rich young ruler coming to Jesus. He's perfect, but Jesus said, I don't accept perfect people because you are perfect in your eyes, but not in the eyes of God. Man's righteousness is as filthy rags before God. I don't know why I can't get through this sermon without telling you God doesn't want perfect people. In fact, the Bible says two men went to the temple to pray. One was perfect. And when he got there, he told God, I'm perfect. I pay tithes of all I possess. I fast twice in the week. I'm not an adulterer and extortioner. I'm righteous. In fact, I'm not like this no good publican. Look down his nose at the publican. And God said, I can't accept you because you said you're perfect. I didn't say it. You said it. And because your righteousness is as filthy rags, I'll send you away and I'll accept the imperfect man, the broken man, the repenting man, the man who admits I'm a sinner. He wouldn't even look up to heaven, but he said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. I wish you'd look at somebody and tell them I'm not perfect. But God loves me. I'm not perfect, but I'm being perfected. Every round goes higher and higher. Every step draws me closer. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Say yes. Here's what I want to do today. I'm about to close, but I want somebody who got some nerve. Everybody can't do what I'm getting ready to ask you, but I want somebody who got some nerve. I want somebody who doesn't care what people say about you. Jesus wants broken people. And I don't care if there's only one person in here, something in your life is broken something in your life is disconnected and you feel the need for God to take the broken pieces of your life and put it back together. I want to raise an offering now. What, what I want is broken pieces. You don't even have to have all the pieces. If you ain't got but one broken piece, I want you to just bring it and Put it on the altar. It might be a broken spirit. It might be broken promises. 
It might be heavy burden, but if you got anything that's broken, bring it to God. Bring it. Bring it. Don't look around. Bring your brokenness to God. Lord, I am broken. Lord, I am weak. Lord, I'm weary. Lord, I'm worn. Lord, I'm tired. Lord, I'm sick. Lord, I'm discouraged. Bring broken pieces and throw them at Jesus' feet. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. And then make up your mind, I'm not taking it back. Every broken piece, I'm going to leave it at the altar. I'm not taking a broken heart back to my seat. I'm not taking a broken spirit. But God, heal my spirit. Heal my brokenness. Heal my mind. Heal my family. Heal my relationships. It's in your hands. Let Jesus fix it for you. Oh, he knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let him have his way. Jesus will fix it for you. Lift your hand and say, fix it, Jesus. Lift your hand and say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. It's in your hands. You are the potter. I am the clay. Jesus, fix my heart. Fix my mind, fix my attitude, fix my condition, fix my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody help me praise them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel deliverance here. I feel strength here. I feel love at this altar. I feel the arms of Jesus wrapping around us. Father, I stretch my hands to thee no other help i know if you withdraw yourself from me with the shall i go fix me jesus come on and talk to him somebody come on somebody help me talk to him fix me jesus fix me jesus i want to praise you i want to sing zion song I want to be a witness. I want to love somebody. I want to help somebody. I want to encourage somebody. I want to win a soul into your kingdom. Fix me, Jesus. Come on, help me pray, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Fix me, Jesus. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Let us give God thanks. Eternal God, our Father, we bless you for this opportunity to reach souls around the world. May you continue to bind us closer together in the love of Jesus Christ. As your word says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. May the power of the Holy Spirit move upon our lives that we may fulfill our kingdom assignment. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.